Against or in favor of the president here? Appearing in Los Angeles today. Absolutely in favor of him. You're in favor of him? Definitely. Definitely. Right up. Have you seen uh, other Trump supporters here at all? A few of them here and there, but then people in the cars have been actually um, indicating that they spotted of him and then like giving thumbs up. And then actually somebody came to me and said um, that he, because of the job that he did in, he, was, he had to be undercover but in support of the Trump administration. And in, unfortunately, that's what it is today. The same people who actually support the president, but then being bullied, and which is unfortunate because this is a great nation, and then America should come together and be one as a nation, regardless of who's president. I mean, I was in favor of President Obama, I was in favor of um, President Clinton, I was in favor of President Bush, and now it's Trump's time. And he's gonna be here again, um, 2020. <laughs> Till 2020? He's definitely gonna be here. Uh, what kind of reactions have you had from other people seeing your stuff? Actually, I just refused to engage in any kind of confrontation. I just had my ears blocked up listening to my music, gospel music, just pumping myself up, and then God is standing with me, I'm fine. Is there a reason you're wearing white? It just indicates purity. Indicates purity? Yes. <laughs> in the eyes of God, I don't know. It's nothing, nothing, nothing religious, it's just... Um, yeah. Between me and my God, yes. But do you feel that there's some religious aspect to this presidency? Absolutely. I believe God ordained him to stand against other nations who are trying to destroy this nation. And it's unfortunate if the American people can come together, if they can't come together, America is going to fall. But that wouldn't happen. That wouldn't happen because there are more people here in support of the presidency than people actually see. Somebody's voting. People are voting. You know? How about... Uh when you say he's ordained, what did he save America from, in your view? In my <laughs> darkness, and um, unfortunately, if you look at what's happening, especially with the gun um, situation in schools, if you look back to when children were both about, allowed to pray, we weren't having all this happen. But then now you put prayer from school and you kind of think, um, it's, it's, it's just unfortunate really. We, we got to put prayers back in school. and. I like the fact that he's standing there and he's declaring that um, we're one nation under God, regardless of people's faith. We respect everybody's faith, but then we're not going to give up on this nation. God's not giving up on this nation as a whole. Yeah. How about the, uh, those who are claiming uh, that uh, President Trump is racist? Do you feel that in, in some way? I don't really buy into racism, really, but like, I feel we're not really giving him a chance. And I, th I believe in my heart that the black community is secretly voting for him. And um, the people who support are supportive of him, but unfortunately, you're considered an Uncle Tom if you do come out to support him. And you just got to be fully persuaded in what you believe in and stand up for it. Even when you look stupid, you just got to you just got to follow 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 your heart. And especially when you've been led by God, He's going to guide you, He's going to protect you, He's going to watch over you. And anything that happens is because He has ordained it. And then God is raising a generation who are not afraid to say yes, I believe in God, and if it costs my life, then it does. What, what denomination do you follow? I'm raised Catholic, but I'm born again Christian. So I'm non-denominational, I'm born again Christian, evangelical, filled with the Holy Ghost, yes. Do you feel somewhat uh, persecuted here today? I just really had my music on and blocked my ears out, have worship songs. People are saying things, but I'm not hearing them because I'm focused on what I came here for. No, that's the support President Trump. What sort, of, what sort of music uh, have you been listening to? <laughs> it's a Nigerian artist, actually. Um, um, let me see. Sorry. Is it gospel music? It's the gospel music, yes. It is, but yeah? it declares, I proclaim God is the one protecting us. I love the lyrics of it. It proclaims God is protecting us. He's the one that's ordained everything in my life and I believe for this nation as well. How do you feel about President Trump's position on Israel? Um, <laughs> if you watch what's going on with other nations now coming and then following his, um, his lead, and somebody has to be the one, somebody has to take a lead. Somebody has to take a lead, and he's taking that lead, and other nations are unafraid now to also support, you know, Israel, and pledge Israel. But I mean, do you, do you object to it, or do you support it? I support it, it absolutely. You support the uh, absolutely. confirmation yes, a Christian, of... 
I believe it's confirmation of God's word and I believe God has ordained President Trump to reconcile, do his own part, not really do the whole thing, but do his own part in acknowledging Israel for what it's supposed to be, which is God's own country, God's nation. He chose it. It's the apple of his eyes and they're not going anywhere.